and welcome back to Mass Effect 2. Uh, so. Da Dark and Ran, still trying to save the galaxy. Galaxy's still resisting. But we got Tally a couple decks down now. Best girl in the game. Of course. So, now we just decide what to do next. Oh, our Master Thief is a close second. I see you really do like uh, Kasumi. She's fun. Actually, I'm gonna make a stop at the Citadel. Might be some shopping we can do now that we got more money. Who's the best boy? Hmm. Garrus. <laughs> no hesitation, Garrus. Specifically, yeah, Grunt. I don't care who else. There's also, you know. Just Tally. Well, of course. I mean, between Garros, Grunt, and Motherboard, it's actually a bit difficult for me to decide. <laughs> it's too bad that I just call him Mother. I mean, close enough. I don't even remember his section of me. Morden. Yeah. I'm sorry, but I can't let you board the shuttle with that. But this is a ceremonial item of my people. Sir, it's a 15 centimeter serrated blade. You humans are all racist. <laughs> <sighs> He's still going on about it. Now, where's what I'm looking for? I don't know where what I'm looking for is, so I'm having to look. Well, let's see what's down here. That's all a map I can use to look at stuff. Yeah, that doesn't help me. <laughs> what I'm looking for isn't exactly labeled. Oh, here it is. Remember this? <laughs> Talk to Grunt about ramen. Hmm. Ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Bullshit! <laughs> <laughs> uh, this what passes for food out here. My tastes run more along the lines of edible. Looks <laughs> like worms. Dead ones. This a human thing? Ugh, I'll pass. I'll eat almost anything, but I stress almost. <laughs> Guess Big Boy isn't exactly fa fond of, you know, wriggly things, <laughs> noodles. Is there anything I can buy? And this is my favorite store on the Citadel. Nope, nothing left here. <laughs> that is the dev console. Don't need that. I'm sure you'll remember the right button eventually. And this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> I see you are quite entertained by that happening. <laughs> Uh, are there any shops that I haven't bought shit from yet? Maybe... But more uh, importantly, are there any shops that you haven't shielded for yet? <laughs> <laughs> Probably not. Okay, there we go. It takes a little longer to load the Citadel than other places. Hmm. Which is kind of funny when you consider it's all one continuous area. Yeah. Oh, hey, look, it's our favorite reporter. The people want to hear your story, Shepard. This twat. Kalisa been seen in Al Jalani, Westerman News. <laughs> when Shepard doesn't shake your hand. I interviewed you two years ago when you first became a specter. You presented yes. your case on camera. Do you have a minute? What, so you can try to do another smear job on me? Now, Shepard, you may object to my methods, but we're on the same side. You're bad no. news. I just want to give your story its due. Sources claim you were at the heart of the Presidium during the Battle of the Citadel. It's fair to say the course of the battle hinged on your words. 
If true, you told Admiral Hackett to assist the Destiny Ascension, costing hundreds of human lives, and securing the continued dominance of the Citadel Council. The Turians lost 20 cruisers. Figure each had a crew around 300. The Ascension, the Asari Dreadnought we saved, had a crew of nearly 10,000. But surely the human cost. The Alliance lost eight cruisers. Shen Yang, Emden, Jakarta, Cairo, Seoul, Cape Town, Warsaw, Madrid. And yes, I remembered them all. Everyone in the Fifth Fleet is a hero. The Alliance owes them all medals. The Council owes them a lot more than that. And so do you. <laughs> Commander Shepard, first human specter. Hero of the Battle of the Citadel. Check bid. We get it? Great. Bull rushed on my own show. <laughs> it's awful tempting to punch her, but it's so much better to do that. Yeah. Those Asari Hanar porn games they sell in Shinakiba are really nasty. Okay! Didn't need to know that. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. <laughs> She's like the idiot on Twitter saying, Name every Doom level without realizing what he's unleashed. Yeah. You know? Yeah. People are dumb. That's why I stay off social media. Too many people who don't use their brain. That's why my public use of Twitter is almost entirely used sharing the videos, not <laughs> And that's about all we really need to be doing here. Mm -hmm. Had to avoid punching police for Chanel Jelani. Despite how tempting it may be. Mm-hmm. Now, so much to do, so little time. Hope Saeed, we could go to Ilium and start that mess. Mm. Hope Jacob. I'd leave Hope and Jack till later. Let's go to Ilium. What could possibly go wrong? Oh boy. Are we in for a treat. Ilium is a classic garden world, developed to serve as an entrepot between the Terminus and Terminus systems and Asari republics. To abet its trade, the normally stringent custom laws of council space are on product safety, prescribed materials, and sapient trafficking are relaxed. Officially, Ilium is not an Asari world. It is colonized and operated by Asari corporate interests. This gives it the same legal latitude enjoyed by the human corporate research enclaves of Novaria. Oh boy! This could possibly be horrible. Ilium is one of the youngest Asari colonies settled during the seventh expansion wave. The first child born on the world is now is only now reaching her middle age. The world is hot and massive. Ground settlement is only possible at the higher polar latitudes. In more equatorial locations, the populations house an arcology skyscrapers to escape the heat of the surface. Even though there's lights on every inch of the fucking planet. It's the youngest Asari child. Yeah, so you know, a few. Middle age is still gonna take a while. At least 400 years, Ran. Because we're in the. We're in the second thousand. Uh huh. In fact, it was formed in. Well, to be fair, we don't know how. Uh, how long it took for a child to be born. Yeah. Be yeah, I'm mean, just saying, Colony found it 1617. So it was it was founded before the sacking of, of um, the Vatican. That's ancient history. Yeah. I only remember that because Sabaton. Yes, that's all right. Because of course I would. So Daddy. Of course. And. Uh, Kasumi. Yeah. Sure.
feel like we've been here before. Welcome to Nosastra, Commander Shepard. We've been instructed to waive all docking bridge. and administration fees for your visit. My name is Karina. If you need information no. about the area, it would be my pleasure. Wait a minute, they're not trying to stop us this time. <laughs> who instructed you to waive the fees? The order came from Liara Tassoni, who paid all fees on your behalf. Ah, uh, of course. She also asked that I direct you to speak with her at your convenience. She's near the trading floor. Do you have any recommendations about what to do on Nas Astra? Our trading center is directly ahead. You'll find restaurants and shops nearby as well. I suggest you browse our shopping kiosks. You can find things on Nos Astra that you can't find anywhere else in the galaxy. What can you tell me about Nos Astra? It's an exciting city. We see a lot of new cultures and goods because of our proximity to the Terminus systems. At the same time, Ilium is still in a sorry world. You should be as safe here as you would be on the Citadel. Sure. For your own safety, however, I recommend against <coughs> signing anything. What's so dangerous <coughs> about signing something? Ilium is a free trade world commander. Contract term requirements are more relaxed here than on other planets. It's a small price to pay for keeping our competitive edge and goods from the terminal. In other systems. words, read the fucking fine print. Yeah. Read it, you mentioned baby. Trade. Fucking what trade trade it? Anything you can imagine, Commander. Ilium is a wonderful world for those who can afford it. In order to remain competitive as a terminus systems port, we've relaxed many of the standards you'd find on other Asari worlds. Most drugs are legal, provided they are labeled properly. You can buy almost any weapon or technology. You can even buy indentured servants. I can't believe an Asari world would allow slavery. We try to avoid calling it slavery. All indentured servants on Ilium have voluntarily agreed to a term of service. Most choose indentured service as a means to pay off debt or avoid imprisonment. A contract holder is responsible for the well-being of her servants, and a servant's duties are agreed upon before the contract is signed. Okay, so it's slightly better than slavery. It's it's kind of like what's what's the city in this world? Fucking uh. uh, uh I, don't I mean, it's basically for slavery. Yeah, but you know everything's uh, everything's under contract. Yeah, like, there's at least decent terms that assure the person won't be you know. Yeah, it's like suppose supposedly if you breach the contract with your a servant, they can just take it to the port authorities and you get screwed for it. Yeah. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. It's a contract like any officer. other except you're... What you doing? Liara working for the... Most respected information brokers. Yeah. Nosastra for the money you don't you. have rather information than... Is valuable yeah. Currency and Liara has done quite well. As I said, you'll find her near the trading floor. She was looking forward to seeing you. I bet. I'm on a mission. Can you help yeah. me find someone? I can help you find major entertainment centers or stores, but I'm afraid I can't point you to individual people. Liara is excellent at that type of work, however. I imagine she can help you. Thank you. Again, Fair welcome enough. to our city. I wonder if she's upset that, wait, that we waited this long to meet her. Like at this point, the entire a galaxy must know that we are in it. It's almost like we, like we, already been told to speak with Yara a few dozen times. It's a good view. Good view. And the thing, this is basically just Omega with fat, with fancy shoes. Yeah, well, Omega didn't exactly have a good climb. <clears throat> Twenty-five. Sell at and 25. also, Omega was extra illegal. No, 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 you're not hearing me. I want to buy it up. Buy it all up. Come on, come on, give me something. Yeah. Very few Quarians ever set foot here. Ilium doesn't allow the flotilla to approach beyond a certain distance. This There's is the there. greatest planet in the galaxy for those who can afford it, and they work hard to keep the Quarian fleet away. No, there's a bunch of assholes. Excuse me, excuse me, are you Commander Shepard? You're Commander yes. Shepard? I saw your... I guess you would say your aura. I'd recognize you anywhere. I was asked to give you a message if I saw you. It's from a friend you made on Novaria. We made a friend on Novaria? Which one was Novaria? Snowy, filled with bugs. Um, hmm. I mean, does the Rhinai Queen count? <laughs> 
what message were you asked to give? Shepard, we hide. We <laughs> it does sound bad, we will, <laughs> Yes. But we know that you seek those who soured the songs of our mothers. When the time comes, our voice will join with yours. And our crescendo will burn the darkness clean. Thank you, Shepard. The Rachni will sing again because of you. I'm glad to hear that you're rebuilding. Are you somewhere close by? The Rachni Queen is not here. That message is one of many memories I carry from her. I encountered her on an uncharted world. She saved my life. More than that, she gave me a purpose. They are an amazing people, Shepard. The galaxy owes you a great debt for giving them a second chance. How did you find the Rachni? I was working as a courier. Pirates ambushed my ship, and I was forced down on an uncharted planet. I was badly injured, alone and near death. Then they found me. They saved me. You obviously got off world again. Did the Rachni give you a ship? No. Countless workers repaired my ship. It runs better now than it did before. They remind me <clears> of the keepers on the Citadel in a way. All working together, each with a purpose. What happened to the pirates who attacked you? They were obliterated, as they should have been. The Rachni are not aggressive, but they do what they must. Hmm. Well, there's another one. They had you pirates. said the Queen gave you a purpose. Yeah, fair enough. What do you mean? The Queen shared her song with me as I recovered. I saw the Rachni as only an Asari could. They are so beautiful and so vulnerable. They needed someone to purchase things they cannot make themselves. Someone to work within the system. An agent, if you will. I am happy to help. My life as a courier was empty and shallow. Now I'm helping a great race rebuild itself. You were really comfortable walking away from your old life? You're concerned that the Queen is controlling me. I understand, but it doesn't work like that. Our minds were in perfect harmony. I saw their beautiful spirit and their need. I knew what I had to do. If some part of that is suggestion, then it was a side effect from their efforts to save my life. I am happy. Can you tell me where the Rachni are? I'm afraid not. I don't even have that information myself any longer. After I met the Rachni Queen, that information was removed. It's not painful, but I simply don't remember. I'll remember when I need to, and her caution is understandable. The galaxy isn't yet ready for the return of the Rachni. Yeah, I can... I can yeah. Yeah, yeah. I got that she was grateful. What else was her message saying? That the first Rachni war was a mistake. Something soured the voices of her people. In Rachni psychology, that would be like mind control, I think. It doesn't really translate. Anyway, she believes you are fighting the ones who did that, and she promises to help. She thinks that the Reapers caused the Rachni War? I can't say for sure, but she was certain that her ancestors were forced into war against their will. Her people aren't naturally aggressive. If they made war, it was not of their own doing. Hmm. Interesting. Thank you for giving me that information. I'm glad my friend in Averia is doing well. Be well, Commander Shepard. You will not see me again. Uh, I mean, it is a big universe. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of people on Averia, you remember her? Holy crap, Shepard! I thought you were dead. She's the one who uh, who uh, got our help to arrest the administrator. Oh yeah. Shepard. The news said you were dead. What happened? No, wait, probably classified. Forget I asked. You just have to lie. It's been a couple of years. I'm Gianna Parasini, Novaria Internal Affairs. You helped me nail Administrator Analeas. Happy to help. What happened to Administrator Analeas? He made the one mistake Novaria won't tolerate. He got caught taking their money. He's doing a few years in white collar. Yeah. More importantly, he won't work in the field again. Sit down. If I remember right, I owe you a beer. Finally, trace off. <laughs> what brings you to Ilium? You know, that you can talk about. You ever heard of the Collectors? They're attacking human colonies. I'm gonna stop them. 
Damn, Shepard. For me, a tough job involves more paperwork. <laughs> Hey, listen, I just remembered something. I've got to go. Talk to you later. And don't forget to drink your beer. There's the up there. It's clear. Right. Shepard, had to leave. Target saw me. Couldn't break cover. A sorry merchant smuggling schematics from Novaria. You can talk her into showing you the good stuff. Ah. Yep. So the beer was the end of him. Yeah. It was just for the message. For the best tech upgrades you have. Of course, I can help you with the consult and figure out what options work for you. Welcome. You look like someone who needs high quality equipment. Feel free to look around. My store has the best tech and biotic equipment on Ilium. First things first. Is everything here so expensive? I plan to drop a lot of credits today. Really? I'm outfitting a team for a dangerous mission. I need the best and I'm willing to pay for it. As long as you work with me. Well, perhaps I could give you a preferred rate at the kiosk. Here, a small discount. And when I get special items in, you can take a look. What kind of special items are we talking about? Oh, you know, schematics, designs. Nothing illegal, but I may not have all the licenses to sell them. Do you have anything else? Anything not listed on your main merchandise kiosk? Well... There is one thing. Very advanced design. Not publicly available yet. That's because it's still in development on Novaria. And illegal for export. Hello, Hermia. Parasini! You set me up! But this isn't Novaria! You don't have the authority to arrest me! I don't care whether you go to jail. I've got all the evidence I need to find you out of business. Do you have the authority to seize the schematic she's trying to sell? I don't have to. Hermia was under suspicion. We leaked a faulty device to her. All this thing will ever do is blow up in your face. I, I need to go. I have to talk to my lawyer. Talk fast, yeah. Hermia. When the fines hit, you won't be able to afford him. <coughs> oh, that was good. I've got to go file a For someone like here, that's even worse than you. <laughs> yeah. Well, first things first, since we got a discount here. Biotic damage. This should come in handy. This is Biotic actually stuff. useless because we've turned off many games. Oh. But hey, more Medi-Gel. Yeah, that's useful. And now we're out of credits. Alright, so what else you got for me, Parsini? Hermia is going to be a very poor woman very shortly. Thanks for the help, Shepard. I love nailing a sorry. So ageless and superior. Then you get them and they squeal like schoolgirls. That can't possibly be misinterpreted. Like the entire statement. <laughs> it must be nice having a job that you really enjoy. I wanted to be a cop or C-Sec, but my family had bills. I needed the money a corporate job brought in. Besides, in this job, you don't see things that make it hard to sleep at night. White collar crime is nice and clean. Well, at least this time I didn't have to wear yeah, heels enough. and a dress. <laughs> <laughs> it must be hard going undercover so often. It's not so bad. Go new places, be new people. The only weird part is when you go home and try to talk to people and you forget how to react. Like it's another cover, you know? Deep down, part of you likes fooling people. That's what makes you good at it. Part of me, yeah. I grew up poor and working class. Now I walk around the rich and powerful taking notes, getting evidence. And they never see me coming. <laughs> What's up next for you? Research. We've had some hacking attacks lately, and I want to make sure they're external. A lot of people are suddenly interested in dark energy. My bosses want to know if it's something to worry about. That won't hold me huh? over until I have to go back undercover anyway. Yeah, you know that plot thread is going to get dropped by the end of this game. Unfortunately. Yeah. Um, there's, I guess there's like no way to resolve it. It's, it's just a hanging thread. I guess Bioware had to cut it for time, like so, many, so much other stuff. Yeah. How'd you end up on Novaria, anyway? Scholarship program and a competitive internship. Turned out I was only middling at the science. Fresh that with the main product. Out secrets. <laughs> you grow up poor <laughs> and surrounded by rich kids, you get good at hiding yourself. And only hope, right? With going undercover. Co-op, co-op Mass Effect 4, please. It's been a pleasure, Gianna. You too, Shepard. See you around. Uh, 
hell with it. Mwah. <coughs> Much better than an autograph. Take care of yourself, Shepard. Okay, then. No, not there. Uh -huh. okay. We want to go here. Hello, Commander Shepard. Liara will be pleased to see you. What's Liara's reputation here on Ilya? She is greatly respected. In a few short years, she's amassed a sizable network of connections. She could have even more political power than she already wields, if she weren't so focused on her personal goals. But I believe she should tell you about that, not me. You're Liara's assistant? Yes. Liara relies upon me to acquire useful intelligence. I don't have her network of contacts, but I supply her with supplemental data. It's really an honor to work with her. I'll talk to you later. Of course, Commander. Right, so let's go see Liara. And she's got an uh, bit of with each other. I'm sorry, Commando Unit before. Few humans have. I'll make it simple. Either you pay me, or I flay you alive. With my mind. Shepard! Nixeris, hold my calls. My sources said you were alive, but I never believed. It's very good to see you. <laughs> We've heard that whole Asari Commando unit line before, haven't we? Mm -hmm. Like mother, like daughter. Yeah. You have sources now? A few. <laughs> sources, contacts, even a little hired muscle. I've been working as an information broker. It's paid the bills oh since you... Well... For the past two years. And now you're back. Gunning for the collectors with Cerberus. That's not exactly public knowledge. Neither is you being alive, Shepard. Information is my business now. And if you need information on finding people, I'm happy to help. There's an Asari named Samara here on Ilya. Do you know where I could find her? Samara? Yes. She arrived recently and registered with Tracking Officer Dara. You can find Dara at the transportation hub. Why would Samara have to register with a tracking officer? Is she a criminal? No. In fact, she's quite the opposite. Samara is a Justicar, one of an ancient sect of Asari warriors. Dara can tell you more. I'm looking for Thane Krios. He's supposed to be here on Ilium. The assassin? Yes. He arrived here a few days ago. My sources tell me he may be targeting a corporate executive, Nisana Dantius. He contacted a woman named Serena. Serena has an office in the cargo transfer levels. Perhaps she can tell you where Krios is. That was all just off the top of your head? I'm a very good information broker, Shepard. <laughs> the world of interest is different from a dig site. Except that the dead bodies still smell. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the help. That's all no. I needed to know. Of course. If there's anything else I can help you with, let me know. That's for later. I'll talk to you later, Liara. It's like, what's, what's up with the Sunday? Let's get the Shadow Workers. Like, what? Yeah. That's and the if that was a bit. Uh, what's the word? Sequence breaking? Uh, actually, that's about when they set the DLC to proc so you can start it. Just, I'm not gonna start that shit right now. Listen, I know the data so that's is the vital to the Corosa family. Asana Dantius didn't give us time to pack. I'm lucky I got out at all. Her mercenaries were starting to shoot. If she lets us back in, I'll get it. I promise. If not, well, we'll just have to hope. Okay. Who was he talking to? Someone on his communicator, probably. Oh, uh, yes. So which one interests you more right now, the Assassin or the Justicar? Mm, Justicar. Justicar it is. Trust me, the goods coming in from the Terminus systems are great for business. I don't know, some of them seem dangerous. That's the whole point. Danger means more contract work for us. You have a name. No, I haven't had any. <laughs> and she's green. Yet. She insists it was legal. I don't know. Huh. Does I'm that going to call actually mean anything? Or is that just an big one? When was the last time we saw a green Asari? I mean, it's 
Shepard. I... I don't suppose you remember me. I don't actually find I'm Shiala. We met on Pharos during the oh. death attack. Saren had given me to the Thorian creature as a slave. And he oh. killed it. And mm. saved me. I promised to help Zeus hope recover. I'm actually here on Ilium for just that purpose. How is Zeus Hope doing? We've done a lot of rebuilding. We even salvaged some useful material from the Geth ship you destroyed. The Exogeny researchers got called back to their headquarters, however, along with what was left of the Thorian. Of course. Is it Exogeny pushing colonists around again, or did the Thorian somehow survive our fight? No. Exogeny has been very supportive of Zeus Hope. They actually seem to want to help us survive. And the Thorian is dead. Though, after all you went through to kill it, I understand your concern. I fear that after our adventure on Pharos, my purpose on Ilium will seem mundane by comparison. Is there something I can do to help? I'd appreciate it. I've reached the limits of my diplomatic abilities, and I'd prefer not to start trouble. Some of the colonists had health problems as a result of the Thorian control. We hired a colonial survey group to do some medical scans, but... The medical contract apparently allows the company to perform invasive procedures without our consent. That's why I'm here. Wait, that's what Chiella, you were only green when the Thorian made you a clone. The real you was blue, like normal Asari. Those health problems I said were related to the Thorian control. This is mine. A few months after the Thorian died, my skin pigment changed. My biotic abilities are unstable as well. I'm also mm. having vivid dreams about my time with the Thorian. It is disconcerting. Tell me more about the contract you signed for these scans. Barrier Frontiers was interested in our problem. They offered to perform medical scans and deliver treatment for next to nothing. I should have known it was too good to be true. But we were desperate. In the fine print, we apparently agreed to let them perform invasive follow-up procedures if they deem it valuable. Which they have. Can they actually force these procedures on you? No. But they can declare us in breach of contract. Which means we're responsible for the full price we would have paid normally. Zoo's hope just got back on its feet. There's no way we can afford that, Shepard. What kind of health problems did the colonists have? Headaches or muscle spasms similar to what they experienced while under Thorian control. Sometimes the colonists near another former Thorian victim shared sensations like heat or pain. It has to be a result of trace amounts of the Thorian's parasitic spores. You can see why we'd want it studied and cured. I'll talk to the survey group. I appreciate it, Shepard. The Barrier Frontiers representative knows about the issue. Well oh, then, let's go exercise some diplomatic muscles. Mm -hmm. I saw your conversation, human. You're here to complain about the medical contracts those colonists from Pharaoh signed. I suggest you leave. Your life is short enough. Do not waste what time you have bothering me. Why are you insisting on these tests? What use could they possibly be? Their use is not your concern. A legal binding contract was signed. Nothing else matters. All of them. Humans. Salarians. Turians. You come to our planet, then complain that our laws don't suit you. The galaxy would be a better place if nobody but the Asari had ever dragged themselves out of the primordial muck. Perhaps we could work out different <laughs> tests. Something that will work for both sides. If the colonists were not willing to abide by the terms of the contract, they should not have signed it. The onus is not upon me to accommodate them. So you'd be this harsh in your contract terms if these were Asari colonists? If they were Asari, they'd be dealing with problems unleashed by another race. Asari like my bondmate, who died when the Geth rebelled against the Quarians. Or my daughters, who died during the Geth attack on the Citadel. One worked in the embassy, the other was a greeter for the consort. So she does have her reasons, at least. I'm not speaking in hypotheticals, human. The aliens will never be my allies. The best they can do is give me useful medical data. Why was your bond made on the Quarian homeworld? 
studying the Quarians. Not their technology, but their music. She loved all their art, said they had old souls. I think that's where my daughters got it from. Both of them love talking with people, exploring new cultures. They sound like wonderful people. The galaxy is lesser for their loss. Yes, it is. Do you think they'd want you to do this? I'm not. I, I didn't. No more tests, no fees. There's enough grief in this galaxy. I don't need to add to it. Right. That was a, a bit suddenly bad. Yep. Also, star charts. More places to go. Yep. But it's still pretty cheap. Yeah. Because you don't really have the money. <laughs> Seriously. Did you get the star charts? Yeah. I had to deal with Arinya, though. I feel like I need a shower. What do you expect? She's a pure blood. They're all like that. Yeah, remember that mm. whole. Remember the comment from Liara about not liking pure blooded Asari? Uh. It's kind of like basically. This basically has the same stigma as incest. Yeah. You did it. I just got the revised contracts. Thank you, Shepard. You saved Zeus Hope again. I don't think I could have. Is it always like this? Yesterday's problems lingering in some new form. Isn't anything ever just fixed? You've got the power to make a difference, Shiala. Not everyone does. You're right. You gave us a chance by saving the colony. I can't let them down. I won't. Thank you for what you've done here, Shepard. I'll keep doing what I can. Maybe sometime when I'm not organizing the colony and you're not doing whatever you do. Hmm. Another shameless gear ladder to had him. I'm Commander Shepard, and I would be busy saving the galaxy if it weren't for the fact that I'm amassing a harem of alien, 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 alien bitches to take. To customers, <laughs> it's like she's turned pure blood into her religion or something. I heard she lost her daughters when the Geth attacked the Citadel. Right. I'm sure she was a pleasure to deal with before that. Okay then. And, and the fuck do you know about that? Yeah. And next time we can start tracking down the Justicar. Yeah. Oh boy, is she gonna be a trip. Bye. Later.